Okay. So the first thing, obviously, we all know that we need to stir up our epoxy. Um, and don't mind uh, my voice. I have a respirator on. Always wear your safety. Safety first stuff, you know. <clears throat> so the first thing I did was I... Hello guys, the first step is going to be spray painting your cup. I use the vintage gold from Rust-Oleum. You can also use yellow. It's completely up to you. So you just spray paint the cup. That's your first step. And then I apologize that the video is upside down. Apparently I don't know how to record. Okay, and then the glitter I use... There's going to be Sunset Heart Hands from The Glitter Guy. really love this glitter. And then I'm going to be using a yellow. It's from Michaels. You can find it at the Michaels store. And then just some simple gold from Walmart. I'm going to cut. I mix them together and then I put them on the cut. Alright, so the next step is the glitter. After you put your epoxy on the cup, um, you're going to be mixing all three of those glitters together in the same cup. I like to mix them, it just makes my life easier. So mix around, mix around. The Walmart gold does get a little stuck. It's very, very fine. But that's okay. So all you're going to do is sprinkle that glitter all over the cup. Let me get my camera right here. <clears throat> You're just gonna do this process basically until you have the cup covered in glitter. and then once you do have your cup completely covered with that glitter you're going to pat down the chunky glitter it's very important to pat down your chunky glitter because when you apply your epoxy the chunky glitter is going to stick out of the epoxy and then you're going to have to do a lot a lot of sanding and I don't like to sand so I try to pat it down as much as I can before I add the epoxy so just use a gloved hand or parchment paper I didn't happen to have any parchment paper up here in the room so I just used my gloved hand also guys always wear your PVE um, the reason why I'm doing a voiceover is because I have a respirator on and it's very hard to understand me um, so always wear your gloves and your respirator. So just continue to pat that down until it is completely smooth and flat.
right, y'all. And then once your epoxy has cleared, cleared, oh my God, cured, um, I give it about a good four hours, four to six hours, depending on your epoxy. Once that is cured, um, you'll go ahead and put your first layer of epoxy over the glitter. And then once that cures for a couple of hours, we go into our alcohol inks. And this part of the video was really giving me a hard time because my phone kept um, removing the video, I should say. Um, so I had to screen record it. So it's kind of ghetto and I apologize. But you're going to go ahead and just throw your alcohol inks on there. Um, I am using honeycomb. I'm using white from Pinata, um, honeycomb from Tim Holtz, and then I'm also using butterscotch from Tim Holtz. So there's three different alcohol inks. Um, that is what I'm using. So there's really no um, correct way of putting the alcohol ink on the cup. You basically just throw it on there, let it spin. I do heat it up so it can move. Um, I try to get the little circles out because that drives me nuts. And then after I heat it up, I end up adding more. <laughs> I'll just let that spin for a few hours. This is what it looks like close up. Again, I apologize that my videos are upside down. Um, some of them are just terrible and I apologize. I gotta work on my recording skills. This is just an up close type of deal here. So we're gonna let this cure um, probably overnight um, and then we'll come back to it tomorrow. And we're off to my favorite part. Um, so putting the decal on. So the um, decal I cut out from my Cricut. Um, and again, the uh, video is upside down, so I apologize. Um, but basically, I'm just uh, setting it on the cup, making sure that it's straight. Sometimes it's hard to get them completely straight, but it is very important to make sure your decals are straight. Oh, and there's my ear. How disgusting. I really, really got to work on my skills here. Figuring out how to record a video properly. Wow. I really am getting old. <laughs> Okay, so y'all get the point. Next clip. All right. Now that we got the first decal on, we're going to move into our temporary tattoos. The temporary tattoos I do get off of Amazon. I just type in bees, temporary tattoo bees, and I just got a bunch of different ones. Every cup is completely different. Um, some have different bees, um, but I get them on Amazon. So we're just going to go ahead and just place them wherever your little heart desires. Um, you're going to put them on just like you would your skin. 
So I do have a little sponge. I end up wetting a little bit of the cup. And then I stick the little bee on there. And that's it. Just do that wherever you want. All around the cup. This is probably my most favorite part. And depending on the temporary tattoo, sometimes the white backing gets stuck on the cup. So most of the time you just need more water and a little bit more patience. Alright, so I'm going to speed this little part up um, because it's just me putting bees all over the cup. There's really no directions on how to do that. You just throw them wherever you feel like they look best. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up. And in five, four, three, two, one, we're off to the close up. Check that bad boy out.
so after you get all your decals on there, all your temporary tattoos on the cup, um, you'll go ahead and put a layer of epoxy. This is what it looks like after epoxy. I did not record that part. I am so sorry. Um, so one layer of epoxy, do a little sanding, making sure you got all the uh, bumps out. And then you'll go ahead and throw another layer of epoxy on it. And then you'll do your cleanup and it should be perfectly smooth and it should be done. So this is what it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is definitely a challenge. Um, I appreciate all the people who wanted me to make a tutorial and all the people who really loved my cup. Um, thank you so much. I will be having a giveaway um, because I do not do cups without an order. So this cup will literally just sit in my room. So there's going to be a giveaway. Um, how you enter the giveaway is you're going to um, share this video to all of your friends and then also like the video and then send me a message and let me know that you did share and like and I will throw your name into a drawing and then in about two to three weeks I'll draw out a name and then um, we'll see who wins this beautiful cup. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope y'all have fun and if you do end up making this cup please 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 send me um the complete um cup because i would love to see uh what your guys's cups look like but for now i'm out thank you